Here's one of the things that I've discovered and learned, and, I, and I'm talking now to all the parents out there. I've discovered that a lot of people are not proficient at the practice of loving themselves, not because they don't want to, but because their parents and those that raised them and knew them first mm -hmm. never identified for them something that they should love. And I think that what we ought to do for our children, and certainly our grandchildren, is to point out to them the things that are entirely lovable mm. so that once they develop the capacity to do so, they can direct those emotions at something. If you tell me to love myself vacuously, <laughs> generally, then I'm saying, well, what about me am I supposed to love? Yeah, and you don't even know exactly what that because is. Because I've, I've not had enough people tell me, you are beautiful, you are intelligent, you are courageous. To the point where you start to believe in and when know you that go, about oh, yourself. When you say love myself, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Because until you can, we, we, we never know what we look like until someone until puts someone us in front of a we mirror. We discover ourselves through other people. Exactly, 100%, right? Absolutely. So I'm saying, you know, in order to conjure your own magic, mm -hmm. in order to be able to speak well of yourself, you have to know the things about you that are entirely valuable. That's